self-belief, self-belief, and more self-belief. What's up, 23% Nation? It's Coach D of the 23% Challenge. And guys, I'm back with part 10 of our amazing video series, How to Love Yourself Just a Little Bit More. <laughs> so guys, without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into this final video, guys. That's right. This is part 10 of this amazing video series, How to Love Yourself part 10 now get ready because this is going to be a wonderful video okay so as usual first we have to talk about the problem and then of course i'm going to hit you up with a grandiose solution <laughs> actually today there'll be more than one solution but guys let's first address the problem okay the problem is we as human beings as a community, as a society, as people living on planet Earth, guys, we are full of self-doubt. <laughs> That's right. We're full of self-doubt. Now, some of you may be saying, well, no, Coach D, that's not true. I believe in myself. Well, perhaps you do. But let me ask you this. Have you ever thought or said any of the following, I can't lose weight? I can't make any more money than what I'm currently making. I can't pass this class. It's so difficult, regardless of how much I study. I can't seem to find a healthy relationship. Oh boy. So guys, if you have ever thought those words or maybe just in passing or maybe in a conversation you have uttered any of those sentences, chances are yes, you are full of self doubt. But don't worry about it. Coach D is in the same boat. So guys, now that we know what the problem is, self-doubt, let's now focus on the solution. Okay. Part one of our solutions. Now guys, I'm going to give you a few different solutions, three to be exact. Now the first one is just the opposite of self-doubt. It's called self-belief. That's right. So rather than be full of self-doubt, guys, let's now become full of self-belief. Now, I would like to offer you an official definition for the term self-belief. Here it goes. Confidence in one's abilities, judgments, skills, talents, looks, and behaviors. Ah, so you may be thinking to yourself, well, self-belief sounds a little bit like self-confidence. If you thought that, then you're absolutely right. Self-belief is synonymous with self-confidence. That's right. Now, here is one thing that you may not be too familiar with when it comes to self-belief, is that self-belief, which is one way to, be, to have a little more love for yourself, is learnable. That's right, guys. So when we talk about whether or not something is learnable, basically what we're talking about is, can I learn or can I teach myself to believe in myself just a little more? And the answer is yes, with a capital Y. <laughs> Here's something that we have to remember. We were all born into this world with no sense of what we could do or what we couldn't do. You see, everything that you can do today, whether you're walking, you're talking, you're typing on the computer, you are uh, using a cell phone, you've been taught those things. But now at the same time, a lot of the things that you don't believe that you can do, chances are you've been taught that too. So rather than focus on what we have not been taught or what people have taught us not to believe in, Guys, it's time to flip the script. That's right, I said it. So guys, from this point forward, let's start knowing that self-belief is learnable. All right, so now let's talk about part two, okay, of the solution process, right? So remember, self-doubt is the opposite of self-belief, which is another avenue to higher self-love <laughs> okay so 
let's now focus on the second solution. Guys, let's write down three problems or issues that you're that are currently stressing you out. Now, if you're like most people, kind of like me, Coach D, right, you may be stressing about money. You may be stressing about your health or you may be stressing about relationships. OK, so pick one, two or all three of those topics. Right. And so write down three problems or issues that you're having with those three topics. OK, now here is an opportunity for us to identify the problem, but more importantly is to focus on the solution. So here is a quick solution. Guys, let's start becoming a little more resourceful. That's right, guys. We have to start utilizing our resources just a little bit more. All right. And so how do we do that? Well, allow me to help you out. What I would like for you to do is to talk to at least three different people that can help offer a solution to whatever issue you have. So consider the following people. Consider your friends, consider your family members, consider your co-workers or colleagues, consider any type of business associates that you may have, consider your teachers or your professors, how about your boss or your supervisor, and last but not least, how about you talk to a mentor? If you don't have one, go find one, <laughs> okay? Guys, always understand this that the solution lies in the same room as the problem. So chances are, if you're able to utilize your resources, meaning people that are in your life on a daily basis or maybe in every other day basis, <laughs> okay, I'm sure that they can help offer at least a part of the solution. Maybe not the entire 100% answer, but you never know. Your best friend, your professor, your boss may be able to not only give you part of the answer, but they may also be able to offer you a referral. That's right, to maybe a professional or someone who knows a lot more about your issue than you do yourself. All right, so guys, that's part two of increasing our level of self-belief and decreasing our level of self-doubt. All right. Now, here is the third part of this solution. Guys, I want to let you in on a little idiom that I heard about 20 years ago, and it has stuck with me ever since. Here it goes. Lessons are repeated until they are learned. <laughs> oh, boy, does that sound amazing. I'll say it again. Lessons are repeated until they are learned. So be willing to learn something new and definitely something different. Now, a lot of people may not quite grasp what I just said. So allow me to say it again for the third time. Lessons are repeated until they are learned. So right now in your life, you may be dealing with the following questions. If you're a business person, why is my company losing money? If you're overweight, why can't I lose weight or why am I gaining weight? If you're in and out of relationships, you probably are asking yourself, why is it that I get into one bad relationship after another? Well, if you're having financial difficulties, you may be wondering, why can I pay my bills on time? If you're a student and you're not doing so well in your classes, you may be asking yourself, why do I consistently get bad grades? <laughs> okay. And the last one is, you could be just the everyday Joe Schmo, man, woman, black, white, Latin, gay, straight. It really doesn't matter, <laughs> okay? But you could be asking yourself, why in the world do I keep having run-ins with, with the law, with the cops, with the police officers? Well, guys, part of the reason that you're having these mishaps because you're not willing to learn your lessons. That's right. So here is what Coach D wants to propose to you today in order for us to reduce our self-doubt, to increase our self-belief, and ultimately to enhance our level of self-love. Guys, whenever you have any type of negative 
situation or experience happen to you, such as in the ones that I just talked about, you have to be willing to dive into those situations and be able to extract the lesson. Because trust me, everything happens for a reason. And part of that reason is because we were placed here on planet Earth to learn lessons. Now, some lessons are easy. Some lessons are difficult. But regardless of the experience, ladies and gentlemen, it's always important for us to be willing to learn our lessons. So in the case you're a college student and you're failing your classes or you're not doing as well as you would like to do in your classes, well, take a moment to assess your situation. Maybe you're not communicating with your professors. You see, it's all about communication. If you find yourself always in conflict with the law, well, maybe talk to an attorney or maybe talk to the police officer who pulled you over and say, you know what? I appreciate you pulling me over, but offer me a little bit of help. What can I do differently so that I no longer get pulled over? <laughs> okay. If you are behind in your bills, why don't you talk to your creditors and ask them for perhaps a payment plan? or ask them maybe to reduce your bills. You never know. Those people are always ready and willing to offer you some type of assistance, okay? And for those of us who are questioning our health, questioning our weight, right? Why don't we start reading more books, reading more magazines? Or if you have a gym membership, why don't you talk to a personal trainer? Chances are the personal trainer, whether it's a male or female, they'll be nice enough and they'll probably offer you a free personal training session. Use that free personal training session to your advantage. Have questions ready. Ask them about different types of exercises. Ask them about different types of meal plans. OK, so once again, guys, lessons are repeated until they are learned. So always be willing, ready, and able to learn your lessons. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. Always remember, eat well, feel well, think well, be well, and ultimately do well. All right, guys. And as usual, I have a question of the day, right? Which is basically going to help you write a comment. Okay. So here's our question of the day. Who are you willing, I'm sorry, who are you going to speak to to help you resolve your issues? Remember, guys, increasing self-belief is one sure way to increase your level of self-love. So once again, our question of the day is, who are you going to speak to to help you resolve your issues? Guys, I'm Coach D of the 23% Challenge. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the final video. This is a 10 part video series of how to love yourself just a little bit more. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Take care and God bless.